Throughout my matches in Apex Legends, I'm noticing a disturbing trend. Randoms often rush headfirst into horrible situations that result in their squad being wiped. In this video, I'm going to try to rectify this problem so that you can get more wins. So let's first think about this scenario. Your squad spots another team far off in the distance and they are high above your team at a watchtower. Your team is not equipped with any snipers. With this information, it should be obvious that it would be a bad idea to start firing at the enemy team and engaging them in a long range gunfight. The safest play here would be to ignore them for the time being and go somewhere else. If you think you can safely push them from this position without being seen, then bringing the fight to close quarters wouldn't be a bad idea either. A second scenario to consider is when you and your teammates are traversing the map when someone in your squad pings an enemy running by that's not too far away. And you should not immediately shoot at that enemy. Take a second to scout the area for his teammates first. If you don't, there's a good chance that the rest of the enemy squad will surprise you and turn this into a bad situation for your team. During the time that you spend scouting, another team may take a shot at that enemy, compromising their position and giving your team valuable information. As you play, you should also be aware of when to abandon a fight gone wrong. Everyone has been in a fight that quickly turned in the opponent's favor. This could be due to a good push from the enemy, bad positioning, or ammo counts depleting. Do not be afraid to run away and live to fight another day. If you are a Wraith or Pathfinder especially, you should always have an escape plan in the back of your mind or set up before the fight. After you escape, you should not force yourself back into bad situations to save a down teammate or grab a banner. Being without one teammate is better than all of you dying. The optimal course of action in many scenarios will depend on several factors, including your skill level. If you know that you are a god at this game, then maybe the first scenario I laid out is a scenario that you would always engage in. But I'm not talking to you if you fall into that category anyway. That's all I have for this video. If you made it this far, then thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more tips to help you improve your play soon, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I'm Doc Caesar, and I'll see you next time.